We're here in Palu and this is a, an area in the Sosu and we're about 800 metres from the coastline so we're well outside the area that's been affected by the tsunami and we've come out here tracing the, the fault rupture which has propagated back from the coast uh, this far but we stopped here in the Sosu um, to look at this house behind me. Uh, what we see here is in the house some really clear structural damage but if we look down we see the source of that damage is not so much the ground shaking but the tilting and the differential movement of the slab that the house sits on. And if we look into the garden we see this sand here and that gives us a really big clue as to what's happened here. The sand that used to be the foundation soil, uh, we believe in the earthquake this is liquefied, uh, the soil has bubbled up from the ground and the house has settled down with it. Uh, eventually everything settles and we've spoken to the owner of the house and he tells us that the ground level has come down about 30 centimetres which I think seems about right compared with other cases of a similar nature. So here's a classic example of uh, settlement and liquefaction.